Hello everyone. Uh, my paper title is Disease Detection in Pomegranate Plant Using Image Processing Techniques. So, I am a uh, professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering uh, from DLE College of Engineering and Technology. And uh, my co author, Dr. Sumana and Madam, from the Department of Information Science and Engineering, MSRIT, Bangalore. So, coming to the introduction, so as we know, the majority of the people in India is dependent on agriculture. So, pomegranate have the highest economic value of all fruits. Every crop the farmer cultivates has some sort of diseases. So likewise, the pomegranate also has a diseases. The important thing over here is that pomegranate has very little immunity to infection during cultivation, especially in the early stages. Pomegranate have the diseases like Sarcosporum, bacterial blight, leaf spot, borar. These are the examples of the pomegranate diseases. All of these diseases cause farmers to lose a lot of money because so these diseases will happen in the early stage. So that is why the farmer is going to lose a lot of money, which definitely affect the farmer's overall economic situation. So normally the pomegranate can be grown in northern part of Karnataka, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, and the main the main uh, uh, economic condition is that so the yearly rainfall should be 40 to 50 centimeter. Coming to the literature survey, so here. I have taken few techniques from the author where they have discussed about the advantages as well as the disadvantages. So coming to the feature extraction, so where we extract the features uh, for the improvisation of the accuracy and the improved data visualization. The drawback with respect to the feature extraction is that the new features that are produced as a result of feature extraction that lack human interpretability. Then second technique that is segmentation. Segmentation it is like very essential because uh, segmentation which isolates the item that are of interest. That interest of uh, area or item it is called as a region of interest. So where the disease part is like present. So the drawback with respect to the segmentation is that so many classical techniques of segmentation are sensitive to noise and could not be applied to images with smooth transitions or intensity. So next technique that is edge detection. So here, the, in the edge detection, which allows user to absorb the features of an image for a significant change. The one drawback with respect to edge detection is that which rely on the gradient of the intensities, it is difficult to obtain precise findings. The next one is neural network, or you can also call it as an artificial neural network, where it stores the information on the entire network, which is like which gives a good result. One drawback with respect to this is that equipment may be very precise, indeed, in spite of the fact the information is shared online, equipment is still required to construct a manufacture system within or uh, within the to begin uh, with, with the input. So apart from this we have few other techniques like uh, k-mean clustering where the merge is ensured through the k-mean clustering. The drawback of the k-mean clustering is that it is challenging where the cluster size and density is when it varies. So artificial neural network feature extraction already we have discussed in the previous part. Move on to the problem definition. So we know as I told you, uh, in early stages the immunity of the pomegranate towards the infection is very less. So that is why pomegranate will have more diseases like uh, uh, bacterial blight, Sarcospora, and uh, Borar. Among these fruits, pomegranate is one of the fruits acquire the diseases very easily and frequently. So these are some of the diseases already I have told you. And move on to the next objective. The main objective of this uh, paper is that 
to detect the diseases like pomegranate diseases and that will really helpful for the farmer to identify the diseases properly by these image processing techniques so we'll discuss some of the pomegranate diseases as already mentioned cercospora borar bacterial blight alternaria so cercospora it's like a fungal infection which is called as a pomegranate cercospora the illness that causes fruit spot is cercospora or a, a pomegranate fruit it results in a formation of a black and erratic patches on the pomegranate uh, fruit so borar is a another uh, pomegranate disease in this kind of diseases it's a leathery peel or rim is primarily yellow with lighter or darker pink or darker red patches all around it so when we see the lighter or a darker pink or darker red patches on the uh, pomegranate fruit so we'll get to know that it is a borar disease the next one is bacterial blight there will be like uneven dark brown stains on the fruits are the early signs that indicate that it is like uh, detected by the bacterial blight so this causes the branches and stems will be affected the next one is alternaria the fruits have the tiny circular reddish brown marking all over them so by looking at this we will get to know that it is like affected uh, by some diseases the disease name is called it as alternaria the fruit begins to deteriorate when these spot, spots combine to form a larger patches as the disease spreads so these are the some proposed systems we'll see one by one image acquisition acquisition so here retrieving an image from the some uh, sources where we can get the all the uh, images that is what we call as a data set so the next one is uh, pre processing so image will be fixed to 500 to 500 pixel so why because uh, to increase the efficiency of our method and in pre processing will remove the noise and uh, unwanted uh, thing the next one is segmentation in this dividing the picture into segments by doing this we can get the reason of interest can be extracted easily the next one is feature extraction so this is the essential part in the image processing where it is uh, we are going to extract the features like color uh, edges and color spaces are the features the next one is color spaces so here it's a mathematical representation of a set of colors in this we are going to identify the rgb colors and gray colors the next one is caniate detection finally we are going to disease detection so we can see in detail about the caniate detection in the next part so as i told you first we'll, we are having the image acquisition then pre processing then segmentation then feature extraction then after that we are going to compare the data so if this is detected we'll tell that what kind of this is it is then we are going to display the disease link the next will have classification of the pomegranate diseases following the extraction of uh, contaminated fruit using the number of white pixels based on the number of pixels we'll say that to what kind of disease it is if the number of pixels are fewer than the 500 then we can say that it is a borar disease if the number of pixels if it is more than 500 but less than 4000 pixel then it is a cercospora if the number of pixels is more than 4000 pixel then it is bacterial blight so this is the table which shows that uh, the name of the disease as we can see the first one the number of pixels are 3542 so the name of the disease is cercospora so why because we know the condition that if the pixels is more than 500 and less than 4000 pixel so it is less than 4000 hence the name of the disease is cercospora and we can see the pomegranate 2 and pomegranate 5 it is bacterial blight because the pixels value if it is more than 4000 then the disease will be bacterial blight and the if the pixel value is less than 500 pixel then it is borar so pomegranate we having 
395 pixels, then uh, we can say that it is a name of the disease will be Bora. So, canny edge detector. The canny edge detector is an edge detection operator that uses multi-stage algorithm to detect the wide range of edge in the images. So, the purpose of this algorithm is that, as I told you, we are going to check the number of pixels on the same direction are more or less intense than the one being processed. So, canny edge detection is an image processing method used to detect edges in an image while suppressing the noise. So, coming to the conclusion, so image processing techniques have proven to be effective in the detection of diseases in the pomegranate uh, fruit as well as leaves. The use of image processing allows for early detection of diseases, which is crucial for preventing the spread, more spread, and minimizing the damage caused by the pomegranate crops. This method of uh, diagnosing the plant illness through the image processing can be finished more rapidly and at a lower cost. So, early detection, uh, it happens, if it happens, then we can reduce the cost. So, by using contemporary image enhancement technique, edge recognition in images that are damaged by various types of noise can be further improved. These are the references. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much.